guys, today I have another haul video for you. In the last couple of months I have been purchasing a couple things here and there, particularly Priceline has had some amazing sales lately, just yesterday and the day before they had a 40% off sale. We'll just jump right into it in order of when I brought things I guess. So I went into Priceline about a month ago and Rimmel and L'Oreal and Maybelline and I think Astralis were having a buy two get one free deal so I've always wanted to try the L'Oreal True Match foundation so of course I was like okay well I'll go into L'Oreal and I'll get three things from L'Oreal and I think I've said in a video previously that I've, I've wanted to try more L'Oreal things so I got the L'Oreal True Match in the colour Golden Ivory and I've got this foundation on right now. So I grabbed that and I've used that a couple of times since then. I really like it. It wears really nicely. I also picked up from L'Oreal two of the Caress Lip Stains, which are supposed to be dupes for the YSL Glossy Stains. And I've heard some people say they last a little bit longer sometimes, but I'm not sure how true that is. I don't actually own one of the glossy stains, although I do want one. I've got this one, Marilyn, on at the moment. And I've actually given one of these to my mum as well, which she loves because she loves these kind of colours. So I got those. And then from Rimmel, we finally in Australia have the Wake Me Up concealers. We've had them for a couple of months now, but I never really purchased one because I was still... I mean, I have heaps of concealers, um, particularly I have my Fake Up by Benefit for my under eyes and so I thought I was kind of tossing up whether or not I'd get this. But when they had the three for the price of two sale, I was like, definitely going to get one. I really, really like it. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it is nice and radiant. Um, so yeah, really nice and the colour is ivory probably. <laughs> um, yeah, number 10, ivory. Surprise, surprise. Then also from Rimmel, I grabbed two lip colours. These are the Lasting Finish by Kate Moss ones. I got a nude colour, number three. And I got an orange, number 12. So I will be doing a tutorial with this number 12 orange lipstick coming soon. Um, I haven't actually filmed it yet but I will be. I have it kind of envisioned in my mind. <laughs> the reason why I got an orange was because I don't normally wear orange. Orange isn't usually a colour that I go to gravitate towards. I don't think I suit orange but I haven't tried it enough to know. So I'm going to do sort of a summary tutorial I think and we'll see how it turns out. I don't really know though. So that's what I got from Priceline. The other day my mum was buying a friend some presents from Soap and Glory which I love and I've always wanted to try their bronzer and for some reason in my head I was thinking it was like $44 but I went in and it actually was $24. So it's called Solar Powder which I think is really cute and clever. I have this on today and it comes in two shades. There's a matte brown, so I like to use this for contour and for bronzing, but mostly for more in the contour area and then just blending it out onto the sides of the face. And this one has shimmer to it and it's a little bit lighter, so you could use this as a highlight or as sort of just a bronze bronzer to kind of bronze up the face. So I've used both those colours today. Then I ordered a little while ago, I ordered some more Real Techniques brushes online at iherb.com. They're so much cheaper than buying them in Priceline. I got the stippling brush, the setting brush, which I used to set under my eyes today, the shading brush, the fine liner brush, and then most excitedly, and the one that I've wanted for the longest time, the Expert Face Brush, which I used to apply my L'Oreal foundation today. I really like that. Feels really nice. <laughs> so they are the Real Techniques brushes that I got, but I also got the face sponge, expert face sponge. I'm not sure what Sam called it, but 
It's really cool. I've never had a beauty blender before, so I don't have anything really to compare it to. I was going to buy the one that they have at Kit, but I didn't. It was $15. This was like $5.95. Um, and it has like this flat bit, which the Kit one doesn't, um, I don't think, which is really good for applying your foundation. So it'll be interesting to see how this one goes. I may use this one in a tutorial coming up. Yesterday there was the 40% off cosmetics in Priceline sale. Couldn't go past buying anything, buying nothing. They also had the 40% off nail polish, which I actually don't have them with me here. They're in my room, but it's the colors that I've got on now. I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see. For makeup, I I had like seven things in my hand by the end of it and I actually forced myself to put things back because I really didn't need them. I picked up an eyebrow pencil by Rimmel which I really like, I've got that on my brows today. I'm actually surprised at how much I like that. I don't usually go for a brow pencil. It'll be interesting to see how it wears throughout the day. Oh yeah, by the way that colour was 004 Black Brown picked up the Maybelline Hyper Glossy Liquid Liner which I used again today in this tutorial that I filmed beforehand and I absolutely love it. I can already tell that this is going to be a favourite of mine. You may have seen in some tutorials in the past of mine that I used to absolutely swear by the Maybelline Line Stiletto one which looks like this and they did that in a few different kind of colours this one's black as black, but I used to have the one that had the shimmer and stuff in it as well. And I'm pretty sure they don't actually do this one anymore. And the last thing I got from Priceline yesterday was the Rimmel Scandalize Retro Glam Mascara, which I am again wearing today, but I did mix with the falsies as well. It's a big brush. I never usually go for big brushed mascaras. I usually go for ones that are going to sort of curl or lengthen them as well. It was so busy in Priceline that I couldn't really think and I just sort of was like okay well I'll try a volumizing one that's fine and grabbed this one and kind of like ran to the register. <laughs> so that's it for my haul. It was a big one and I hope it's not too lengthy. I'll try and cut it down as much as I can when I edit it so you're not sitting there going, oh, this is boring. If you're like me, I really like watching people's hauls just like I like watching people's like what's in my shower and things like that because I'm a bit of a sticky beak I guess so I like to find out what things people are purchasing and then hopefully you'll see all of these things in tutorials coming up they look from what I've tried so far they're all really cool coming up in the next couple of days will be the, a video of this makeup look here that I filmed and you'll be able to watch that when that's available I will link it down below if you've subscribed you'll be able to see it in your subscription box. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you later, bye.